I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change your input and output devices inside Fortnite in case you ever need to go ahead and switch them up. The main reason for doing this is if, say, your microphone's not being picked up or your headset's not being picked up, or if you're plugging in like a headset and you're not planning on using it on that computer for a long period of time, then something like this will be valuable for you because you could just switch it so you can use it for that session and then when you're done, it'll go back to normal. One of the big things about this with the game for Fortnite is you do have to go ahead and set it back up each time because if not, it will go back to default settings every time Fortnite is closed and it'll use the Windows settings. If you're going to use something on Windows constantly and you don't need it for just one time, then this is a little bit of a different video that I already have created and I'll go ahead and link it up top. But you could try it this way so you know it works first and then once it's working you could always go use that video too. I'll also put it at the end of this video that way you have that option of seeing it. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. If you didn't know uh, item shop uh, creator code kevinsmack.tv hashtag ad this helps a lot. I would really appreciate it. We are pretty low on supporters right now. I don't really talk about supporter creator code too often so every once in a while I just want to remind you it does help out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. And there's some pretty awesome things to buy recently so I would really Appreciate the help. If you do go ahead and use it, let me know down below so I can go ahead and give it a heart in the comments. With that said, to go ahead and go back to the main area, what we want to do is hit the three lines up here. I call it an ellipsis. Some people call it a hamburger. Whatever your flavor is, let's go ahead and hit it. And then we're going to get to these here. We're going to go ahead and choose settings. And when you're in settings, we're going to go ahead and choose the volume. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says voice chat. And here you have a few different things here. Voice chat input device. This is what is going into the game. So this would be like a microphone, for example. So it's going to use the default always. So you can go ahead and change it. Like here would be a microphone. Uh, Blue Yeti microphone. I would select this if I wanted to go ahead and switch it. Blue Yeti is already my default microphone, so I don't need to switch it. But if you're plugging something in or it's not coming up for you, it's always good to try this. What you could do is figure out what your default items are and what works, and then go back into the other video and set that up. So if you're not sure, if you have it set as the default here, and it's not picking up your microphone, that basically means your microphone is not set up correctly as the default. So go ahead and choose this for now, and then go ahead and choose apply, and then it should pick it up for you. And then we have the output device. This is for hearing. So if you wanna set it up to your speakers, you would want this set up. So we're gonna go to speakers here, and we would be able to go ahead and have the sound go out to the speakers. So input is for talking. People can't hear you. That's probably what's wrong. Output is it what you're hearing. Speakers. So if you can hear the sound of Fortnite, then your output's fine. Don't worry about it. But if you can't hear anything at all, then you want to mess with this until you find the correct one. Now you're not going to have as many as I have. I have a streaming setup and I have a whole bunch of extra stuff on my computer for multiple things so you'll probably only have like two or three in here and like I said input microphone output speaker if you're going through and testing the microphone make sure you set this to open mic just until you're sure it works that means it will be open all the time and anyone can hear you until you change this that should go ahead and change your inputs. If you're still having problems, I do have lots and lots of videos on voice chat. I just haven't went over this specific topic and I've been meaning to, and I thought now is the best time to do it. If this helped you do me a huge favor, smack that like button and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials, tricks, tips, and fixes. If you have any questions regarding this, please put them down below. I know sometimes this can be confusing. That's kind of why I went over it more than once and I try to do it in a different way each time. So I hope this helps. Like I said, any questions, put them down below and I will take a look at it. If you're watching this when the video first goes up, I go through and heart 
comments you know the first day it's up so make sure you go ahead and put some comments down below and maybe you'll receive a heart thanks so much for checking out this video and here is the other video if you want to permanently set the defaults check this one out and i'll see you over there